Free is a biological research station and environmental education center uh, located here at the foothills of the Maya Mountains near Southern Belize. So we've been here you know, 30 years. We've been operating Be Free. And over those 30 years, we have worked with 50, 75 universities and colleges from all over the states and in Europe. This is a tropical rainforest meadow, and there are uh, sort of inherent risks being here. The other issue that is a challenge working with multiple universities or working with even a single university in the beginning is that um, from, it, from the professor standpoint, they're not always coming equipped in the same way. And that's, and it, by equipped I mean equipped to run a study abroad program. And I have recognized over time that um, it would be amazing for professors to be sort of prepared in advance, trained on how to lead a field course or study abroad program, how to respond in an emergency. I mean, there's a lot of things that seem small that end up being the most problematic um, because a professor isn't equipped to deal with that situation because that's not what they're trained for. They're trained to come here and do a science project or, you know, lead a class essentially the way they would um, in, a, in a classroom at their university. I believe that by preparing professors um, differently for things that are emergency situations, um, we would be better off and we'd be better able to support them because our role as a field station is not necessarily to um, handle a professor's emergency for their students, but that's the role we find ourselves in. And so we're great collaborators on those things and we definitely take charge, but it would be amazing to know that we were working with that professor in that university for the benefit of the students and for the safety of the students. You know, it's not just them coming here. I think for any, for any study abroad program that a university like Penn State or others would want to do, I think it's pretty critical that those professors and, and course leaders are well equipped beforehand. I was absolutely awed and thrilled. And because these are questions that I ask myself and I train our staff for and I ensure our staff are trained for, but it's not always coming from the university side. And so it has felt very out of balance. So the opportunity to collaborate for the safety of visitors here feels like such a relief and such an opportunity. Of the 300 plus field courses that we've run here over 30 years with 50, 60, 70 university and colleges, not once has any, has any university or college even brought up the issue um, in a significant way of, of safety and risk management, let alone send someone down to actually vet and just, you know, vet the place and discuss it. It's never. And instead, what they, what they do, what there are a lot of conversations about are liability, but not safety, and those are two different things. No. And so it's felt very much like the liability is on us, and the safety responsibility is also on us, but, the, but only people want to talk about the liability. So it's nice for that conversation to be shifted to what really matters. Absolutely. I, uh, I mean, just the conversations that we've had um, since you've been here have changed. I mean, the way that the professors you've traveled with um, are talking about courses and thinking about them are different than they normally would be on a professor preview, which is what this visit is. You know, we're, we're inviting um, Penn State to come and take a look at different organizations that we work with in this country. We're inviting them to take a look around here. And it's really wonderful to have that conversation include issues of safety um, and, and a healthy experience for students. So I believe that this has given us um, some fresh eyes to look at how we talk about things with universities differently. And it, and it makes me really look forward to working with Penn State. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>